I really lost my innocence in my childhood. When I see these, it just makes me so angry to know that one person can just destroy your life. So my name is Allison Franklin and I am a human trafficking survivor. I was three years old and my father was shot and killed. Following his death, my mother, who was 19, moved in with my great-grandparents. Little did she know that my grandfather was a predator. And shortly after my father's funeral, my grandfather began raping me. With that abuse, it just launched me on a journey of self-destruction that probably spanned over 34 years. Around 11 or 12, I started to run away from home. I found myself homeless in the streets of Houston with no food, no clothes, no place to sleep. Majority of traffickers, they target the most vulnerable, right? Um, when they're at their lowest point. I was picked up by my first predator probably within an hour. He shared with me that I was really, really pretty and that it was dangerous out there. If I went home with him, I could stay with him until I figured things out. Over a very short period of time, he convinced me that we were in a relationship. I believed he was my boyfriend, but in fact that he had preyed upon me for his own sexual benefits and pleasures. I did escape and once again found myself homeless in the streets of Houston. This was uh, a lot of gang activity. At that point, I was targeted by gangs. They introduced me to drugs and became a full-fledged addict. And in that time period, um, I would engage in commercial sex work as well as uh, distribution of drugs. Gang members would be ordered to kidnap me, uh, rape me, beat me, force me to prostitute. I was groomed to um, purchase all those drugs, sell all those drugs. Um, we moved money, we moved guns, we moved cars, we moved people, uh, including grooming me to recruit other women um, to be trafficked as well. I cycled in and out of our criminal justice system. I had spent over 10 years collectively behind bars with eight felonies, nearly all incurred while under the oppression of my trafficker. So often when you're stripped of your choices from a very young kid and then you're trafficked and your choices are stripped again and then you come here, and even more choices are stripped from you. And it wasn't until my ninth felony that I actually got access to meaningful services that would help me exit that life. Human trafficking is a top investigative priority. So we take it very seriously. My name is John Wall. I am a major with the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission Special Investigations Unit. TABC has developed and organized a unit called the Special Investigations Unit that its specialty is in focusing on human trafficking and organized crime cases that are occurring in the licensed premise and alcohol beverage industry. Because we issue the permits to the licensed premise, we can go in and conduct inspections on a regular basis and this gives us the opportunity to uncover signs of criminal activities, especially when it comes to human trafficking. If it's not for the work of our agents and our investigators, we're not going to uncover these victims to eradicate human trafficking by dismantling criminal organizations and networks. With helping victims like Allison, we can understand the mindset of what a victim has been through. If we can dive into that and understand their plight, then we can better engage the victims as we conduct these investigations and provide a better response. Being able to access services that are meaningful uh, was the turnaround for me. The real turnaround though, however, was being identified as a victim of trafficking.
Making that connection that I was a victim of trafficking makes me angry, but it also gives me hope that we have an opportunity to stand up and be active bystanders or just recognize our role that, that we all have room in this fight. I wish I didn't have the story to tell. I wish I had a different story to tell, but I hope that my story you know, inspires others to make sure this doesn't happen to someone else. I'm Kevin Lilly, chairman of the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission. It's an unfortunate fact that many victims of human trafficking are being held against their will in some of the bars, clubs, and restaurants that are licensed by the TABC. If you notice suspicious activity in a TABC licensed bar, restaurant, or other alcohol retailer, please report it immediately. You're not only helping to save the lives of the victims, you're helping to keep an important economic engine safe for business owners and customers.